Good afternoon from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. It's Ryan and on today's video, we're going for a walk through Gatlinburg from one end of town to the other. We're gonna see how crowded it is on this Thursday before Easter with a good amount of people on spring break right now. We're just gonna keep a lookout for anything else new that we notice along the way. So I invite you to join me for a walk through downtown Gatlinburg. It took me forever to get from Pigeon Forge to Gatlinburg. Most of the traffic on the way into Gatlinburg from Pigeon Forge ended up being from a police car closing down the lane as they had some people who needed to do some service hours along the side of the road picking up some trash. I ended up parking my truck back at Herbert Holt Park. I needed to go for a walk while Bree is doing some school this morning and we're gonna walk into town and see what we can find. It's a little past 11.30 on Thursday, March 28th. Again, this is just before Easter coming up on Sunday. So right now it's actually not too bad as I, I've seen the traffic backed up way back to the Gatlinburg sign and basically this is all bumper to bumper. So here on a Thursday afternoon, not too bad at the moment. Even when I was working my way in, I don't mind sitting through some traffic along the river. I'll sit in that traffic any day of the week. Let's cross the road real quick. We'll see what the line is like up at Hillbilly Golf. A good amount of people here at Hillbilly Golf. Oh, wow. You can see the line wrapping all the way into this parking lot over here. So if you are looking to do Hillbilly Golf, they do open at 9 a.m. So we would recommend on a spring break or busy holiday weekend you want to try to get here maybe a little bit before 9, 8.45, because it's going to take you a little bit of time to take the ride up to the top. They're still working on the Pizza Rio over here to the right. It's a restaurant we really enjoy in Pigeon Ford. As we pass by Zoder's Inns and Suites, it says that it's 48 degrees in Gatlinburg right now. I have shorts and a t-shirt on right now. I think it feels fantastic in the sun in the sun i'll say it's a little little bit chilly but otherwise it feels really nice out for a walk you can see this is where the traffic actually starts to back up as you're going into downtown granted it is thursday afternoon i think friday this will be backed up even much further and especially into saturday and on easter sunday across the street over here See how busy the parking garage is at the moment. I love all these flowers over here in front of the parking garage. Again, if you're in the sun right now, the weather feels fantastic. If you are enjoying this video, if you could do me a huge favor, just simply like the video down below to let me know to make more walking tours just like this. As we come up to this trolley stop to the left, I did want to remind you, you're always welcome to hop on the Gatlinburg trolley for free. There's no cost. You can just hang here at one of the trolley stops and go from one end of town to the other. I'm going to be walking it with you. But if you have little ones or an elderly parent and it's just becoming a long day, you can always utilize the free trolley. You can see this parking garage is full at the moment. Let's go check out the crowds up ahead by Anakista. So it's almost 12 o'clock on Thursday afternoon. You can see a pretty good amount of people waiting to get on the chandala. You can either get on the chair or the gondola or their vehicle off in the distance. So pretty good sized crowd at Anakista right now. Here's a look at the line at the moment to get onto the chairlift up to the top. Got some people across the street enjoying the aquarium today, though I would say today is a better day to be outside. Nice and sunny. It feels great to be going for a walk with you here in Gatlinburg. Let's go see how the village is looking up ahead. A little bit of a line for the pancake pantry right now. Let's go walk through the village real quick, see some of their Easter decorations. Definitely a very relaxing, peaceful vibe back here in the village at the moment. Feel, feel the 
I will say I've been here between Christmas and New Year's and even trying to hang back here. I just feel like I need to get out of this place. It's actually not too bad right now. But again, it's Thursday, so I think it will pick up as the weekend progresses. I'm just gonna pop into this Parrot Mountain and Garden of Eden at Gatlinburg store. I haven't been in here since they've opened it. So we got a little place you can come and get a photo. We got a little area where you can handle some birds and a number of different t-shirts, hoodies, hats, things that you can come back here in the store. But I love this ceiling as though you're under a tree. It's kind of fun for kids of all ages. The bird back there is laughing away. I need to get one of those for whenever I tell a dad joke in the house and I get met with silence. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no. It's time to exit the building. If you can't make it to Parrot Mountain and you do want to have a picture with some birds you can hop into there. I just went inside and asked and they still don't know when Activate will be working again here in Gatlinburg. Their breakout is essentially an escape room. You can go in and do that, but no ETA on when the Activate game rooms will be up and running again. Pretty good amount of people on the sidewalk right now. Let's go check out the wait time for Jason Aldeans right now. So I'm up on the rooftop patio. It's the largest one in Gatlinburg. And I did ask how long it would be to be seated, whether we have me and my wife or my whole family party of five. And she said they would be able to seat us right away. However, yesterday she said it was packed. So I guess the Thursday before Easter is the time to be here compared to yesterday is what the hostess was telling me. So the logic behind why yesterday it was slammed and today it's a little bit slower, I'm not too sure. But if you go to Jason Aldean's, I would definitely get their nachos that are $17. Those are probably like our favorite nachos you can get in the area. Or you could always hit Fanny's Corner Kitchen and the smell of these onions and green peppers. Oh, that smells so good. I still haven't had lunch yet. So a little bit of traffic and crowds out, but it's really not too bad right now. Let's go across the street and see what the signs in front of the old chicken guy are saying right now. Where chicken guy was, they have a remodel in progress. See you in the spring. I just talked to a guy working the arcade. He thinks it's some kind of sweet shop. So we'll keep an eye on what they end up putting here next to the arcade, where Chicken Guy used to be. You can see the old McDonald's building is completely demolished at this point. And up ahead, the Puckers China Bazaar building is coming along pretty well. This traffic is crawling along. You can see the Space Needle off in the distance. And as we walk past the Gatlinburg Inn, you can still see some construction going on here at the Gatlinburg Sky Park. Like Anakista, you can see some people waiting in line to get tickets to get a ride up to the top. See a little bit more people here on this corner. You got the Crazy Mason off in the distance. I don't see anybody outside the door, so that's also a good indicator of how busy it is as if the line for the Crazy Mason is out the door, which it is not right now. Let's see if we can catch any live music here at Old Smoky Tennessee Moonshine Holler. I do hear some live music. Let me walk over here and give you a little sample. Well, they call me the fire. That's my name. Hope you enjoyed this sample of the live music here in Gatlinburg. Got a bunch of different carvings over here in front of the convention center right now. So when it comes to crowds and what you're going to do, I would recommend save your downtime at the cabin with the family or going off on a remote trail for the weekends. Because if you're here right now on a Thursday, the crowd is fantastic. So you could get in to a restaurant you want to go to or go up to Anakista or do an activity that you want to during the weekdays and save those Friday, Saturdays when it's gonna be more busy here in Gatlinburg, save that time for some downtime at your cabin or your resort, which based on what we saw at Anakista and Sky Park, I would assume this is not 
very busy as well. You can see the line to buy tickets is empty at the moment. And you can see the tramway entrance is also pretty empty as well. And if you were to hop on the Ober tramway ride up to the top, they will point out a house up ahead to the right called the Barbie House. We just did a video showing you what it's like on the inside. You can click on that video up in the top right of your screen or down in the description below. As we pass by Cumberland Jacks, I'm just reminded that I still haven't tried out their Thanksgiving Day dinner meal that you can get here. So if you're itching for some Thanksgiving dinner, you can head into Cumberland Jacks. It's like a couple people waiting outside here of Crockett's breakfast camp. And it doesn't look like there's much wait at all to go to the park grill based on what I see from the outside. It's still one of my favorite places to come enjoy a salad bar here in Gatlinburg. As we've made it to this end of downtown Gatlinburg, we've made it to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. You have the Gatlinburg Trail over here to the right, which is an easy trail. And if you kept driving ahead, you could access Klingman's Dome Road as of April 1st, that will open. As I walk back to my truck, I'm gonna show you one more place that's actually opening up tomorrow that you can go for a nice scenic drive and possibly see bears. As we're working our way back to where I wanna show you how to get on Roaring Fork Motor Trail, I do notice the crowd is starting to pick up as we've now passed 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Across the street here where the Old Smoky Candy Kitchen is. Walk down on this side. As the day has gone on, as it's almost 1.15, I'm noticing that the crowd levels are starting to pick up along with the traffic here on the streets of Gatlinburg. If you're new to our channel and you haven't yet hit that subscribe button down below, it's a great free way to support our efforts to make more videos just like this. As we come up to this corner where the subway is, if you take a right down this road, you'd get to Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail. Again, that's a great way to go see bears. That opens up tomorrow, March 29th. So you can click on the video up to the top right of your screen if you'd like to see what Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail is like. I'll put that down in the description. And as the day has gone on, so too has the line to go to Anakisa has gotten much longer. Here is the back of the line to purchase tickets for Anakista. If you would like to go to Anakista, this is one of the places we do recommend you get tickets in advance. So whether it's spring break, Easter weekend, Independence Day, any holiday or busy Saturday, definitely try to get your tickets online in advance. You can just purchase them on your phone. And again, you can show them the QR code that you've purchased tickets and get up a little bit faster to Anakista. That's gonna wrap up today's walk through Gatlinburg. Hope you guys have enjoyed checking out some of the Easter decorations and the spring break crowds here on a Thursday, the 28th, just before Easter. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some more videos like this where we just go for a walk through Gatlinburg into the island and Dollywood and I'll try to fire up the camera and do some more of these. But that wraps up today's video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.